I would just like to start off by saying thank you to everybody who watched the last video behind the track of Shinigami. It means a lot. Today we're going to take a look at specifically the drops on Stank Face. So, so let's just get a listen first. man that thing gets you going I broke a little sweat on that Whew. yeah but uh, stank face it's it's also I mean most most of lit Lord's tracks they sound they, they sound you know like there's a whole bunch of stuff going on but it's really simple you know I mean these songs are, are, are really simple so let's take a look at it here one two hit him with the hit him with the the, the 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 element that takes up the most space in the track is the 808 and that's the that's pretty much the case in a lot of my tracks here the 808 takes up the majority of everything so just listen to the 808 so these 808s here's an 808 that I like to use a lot I've got some octave stuff I don't even know I'm I haven't opened this this project up at all so here's this 808. I've got a template here. So in every single song that I start, it's the same thing. So, you know, we've got saturator, sausage fattener, compressor, and uh, EQ on the specific frequency range, and a utility to control volume. And we've got these things here going with this. So it's, it's very simple and then we've got a, a, a hip-hop sub bass which is an Ableton instrument actually and I use that a lot just for pure, pure sine wave here so you know when it comes in it's like and on a real club system you're gonna hear that so yeah the drop drums here is uh, very simple here it just goes Put him in a casket. And then when it gets into the the you know the, the the stanky part, you know, but just the beat itself keeps you going. Like hmm, if you can listen to your beat and it gets you going with nothing else in it, you got something. So have mercy. And then when you add in, you know, your uh when you add in your, your 808 here, have mercy. Ooh, that gets me going. But uh, let's take a look at the instruments here. So first off, we've got on our hard brass section here. Uh, these are some from sample pack here. We've got some these horns here that go like this. I used a bunch of samples in this song. I mean, I, my thing here, I said, right, what can I make just using stuff that I have on my computer? like. Just throw things together and try to make something that sounds absolutely ridiculous. And uh, that's what we did here. So, I mean, we've got on our hard brass section. On the hard brass section, on a lot of my brass, what I do is I, I raise the highs. And I raise it in, you know, your, your mid-range a little bit. And I EQ it off so there's no low frequencies intermingling with my 808. And I'll give it an overdrive just to give it some harshness. So then we get something that sounds like this. And uh, so that's this here, and then it's a lower one, and then a louder one, which is a little wider. So all together, you, you know, you get this. And it's just the same thing. And we've got our vocals. I did all the vocals here. I, I, all the vocals on the song, I did them. It's heating up in here, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Here we go! <laughs> you know, I put on the, on the vocal here, which is some good knowledge to have. See what I did on the vocal. Thank face, thank face. So verse one here, I've got little altar boy, and this is just something you can play with your formants and kind of line things up with the key of your track and really make something that sounds a little robotic and in key. So it's quantized with some formants and some pitch, and with a 50%, about 50% uh, dry wet here. Thank face. Wah, wah. Hit him with the stank face. So you know when that plays with the 808, it kind of goes in line. 
You see what I'm saying? It kind of goes in line like this. Big face. So, you know, everything kind of plays together. So if we scroll down some more. Hit him with the Ah, all the little chants and things in between. So on the on our chant section, there's a lot of just little interlude stuff that plays in between the beat that keeps it going, you know? <laughs> See, all these little things, like it's, it's playing here, it's bouncing off of this, you know? Everything is kind of just bouncy off of each other. And, and, it, and it creates something that's a, a, a very cohesive whole end up with, with, a, with a final product that has a lot of depth, you know? Hit him with the Let's get into our synth section here. So our synth section on the actual main group. So all my groups here, I've got my overall synth section. Then I've got S1, which stands for Screech 1. And I've got an uh, D1, which is Drop 1. Well, and then a D2, which is Drop 2. That doesn't mean that they're going to play for Drop 1 and Drop 2. They're just different drop parts. One has an EQ on it, so none of that stuff and D1 can interfere with my 808 or any other low end. That means that my low end is going to come from my bass section group above. Uh, and D2 has a, you know, a 20 hertz uh, cap off here on the EQ. So that means that this can play my sub bass. This can play sub bass. So that means if there's not an 808 or if there's a part of the drop that I would not want an 808 or my hip hop sub to play, it would play in here, either through the VST or some other thing that I would place in that group. Hit him with the Let's take a look at our screeches here. Uh, the screech on the first drop here just sounds like this. The, that, that movement right here which is there goes ba 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 you know that that just comes from the kick hitting because I have a really heavy compressor here. Hello. I have a compressor about 26.3 decibels on the threshold here, so that's really kicking her down. So you're gonna hear things that 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 that, 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 that uh, the drum section is doing, which is what you want uh, well, for for me in particular. So that's what it sounds like, and basically that is two layers here. Uh, pan one screech, pan two left, one screech, pan two right, and here's the two right screech, and that's just a really thick, harsh kind of screech. And as you can see on the screech, I've got it playing a chord. So this is a demon saw from my from my source here, and then I kind of just played with it here and, and created some different stuff. I have no idea what I did because I've made some of these screeches and, and, and tweaked a lot of these screeches a long time ago, and now I just kind of open them up and I go from there just for workflow purposes. But I mean, this is what we're working with here. But mostly, all your stuff is coming from Oscillator One. A and oscillator 2A. These are really oscillator 1A and you're playing with your envelope here and this is where a lot of this stuff happens. So if you had to normal just open up a patch, uh, initial patch and you play with these things here with your saw wave you're gonna get some stuff and it's just really a lot of detuning and a lot of voices you know but then I add some more voices here with the chord you see now when you put that chord in you see it it's, it's just it thickens it up and it kind of gives it a bigger feeling so that's 2R now we've got 2L and this is just a more straight you know spear like screech so when you put them all together you've got you see what I'm saying and then both of them have you know one you know a uh, nice add to the highs uh, down I don't know this is just you, I play it off your ear you gotta play things off your ear to know when it sounds right to you on the sound that you're trying to go for. 2, two L without the chord sounds like this. Just very simple, but when you put that on there, you see it kind of gets it a little louder, you get some more voices going. So it's, it's really nice. And that's just the three minus three plus three. So that's simple. Then we've got our other, uh, uh, another one which plays kind of like the wah 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 wah, which is, which is the same screech as 2 L. And, oh, these are both 2 L. So that's a mistake on my part. That was, that was supposed to be two right, two L and two R, but whatever, mistakes happen. So we've got that, and then the other one goes. So when you play them together, you go, and that's actually a different screech from the two R. That what's supposed to be the two R up here. It's a different screech here. This one is a more. This is that same kind of screech from Shinigami, where it's wide and it's and, and it's like it's very playful. So you can sit here and play with it. So you know it's really playful in that kind of manner. Hit him with the so those are the screeches right there. If you play it with, uh, so let's solo our screeches, 
and our drums. Put him in a casket. Now with the bass. And you see that 808 brings the whole thing to life, you know? The 808 brings everything to life. And it's a, it's a very central part to a lot of my tracks here. Hit him with the We've got this bass here, which is a serum patch here, which is very fucking like very playful, corny ass kind of sound here. And that's just uh, this sound. So that's what it sounds like if you're just gonna play with it here. And I kind of tweaked it. And let's see where, what it actually is. So it's an origin sound, it's a soaky. Okay, so this is what this is looking like here, and I just kind of played with this, and you can and bring it down a little bit, so it kind of sounds a little more subtle, and that's just on the LFO one, and then this just goes, and it's playing on a trigger it with the beep to the BPM, and then I have a half step. That's that sound there. So now we've got this that plays off of this, uh, off of the serum patch, which is just a more kind of thicker sound. So then we play those together, you get this. So, you know, there you go. There's that. Uh, another sound in here is this little rhythm patch, which is just really cool, but it's just very simple at the same time. So when you play that with the screech, you get this. This track is extremely simple as you can see and it just does the same thing again. Then we get to our actual part and, and here it comes. I told you this track is extremely simple. That sound that you're hearing is put on steroids because the 808 is so hard. So when I put that synth in there that goes wah 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 it just sounds so ridiculous because the 808 is playing under it and you just you, you can't tell what's happening if you didn't make the song. And I, it, it fools me every time. I'm like, wow, that's all it is? It's like... So now, here's that sound. You would never use this in your track. But when you put it with the 808, it just gets so re retarded sounding. You see what I'm saying? Hit him with the well, there's two things playing? I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. So I did kind of boost this up. Okay, so I used another 808 here to play along this. What is this? Oh, that's nice. That's very smart. So I used this to kind of play on the sides of that of that synth there, that serum patch, and it's just a little 808 with this with a uh, 527 hertz cut here on the EQ8. Same stuff as all the other 808s, just EQ'd real heavy. And then you got your actual 808. I'm assuming. That's nice. So this is a Cymatics 808 here. As you can see, I've got it in mono because all those other things are taking up your stereo space and I want that bass to really just play in the mono so nothing really happens with it with phasing or anything like that. And uh, that 808 has a uh, cut here to the high, so if we take that high cut off. That's a pretty filthy 808. And I just boosted it here and it's key frequency range, same stuff as all the other 808s. So when you play those together, it really fools you. You see? So that's that. Now if we just uh, solo our 808 and this serum patch here, listen. You see, because the 808 is so powerful and it's layered so nicely, it gives you this effect that just sounds retarded. And this is, that's the basis of that stank, ver that stank section of the drop. Now to add the spice of life to it, you stick that screech in there. But take a listen to this. Hit him with the so I use this rhythm patch again on this sample here. And it goes like this. I don't know how it goes. Let's listen to it. Okay, so that plays with that. Okay, that's nice. So you see how the movement here in the serum patch? So now to complement that, so you can hear that a little better, because you're not going to hear that, that, that movement over the screeches. So now to hear that movement with the screeches, 
you complement it with another bass. It goes like this. So, and that's just, you know, I played with it and you stretch it out using these things here. You see that? And then just stretch it out, use your formants and some envelope stuff and pitch it down, use the transposition semitones and you get stuff like that. So now, you put that together with our screeches. Let's play our screeches. So here's our screeches. It's the same two screeches as before. We've got our wide, sharp, well, wide, flat screech, and then you've got your, 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 your skinny, sharp. So now, when you put them together, you get So now when you play that with these basses, with these uh, D1 basses and the serum patch here. All these sounds with our 808 stuff, the thing starts to come to life here. So, here we go. Action. And there you go, and then you add your drums in there and you've got you've got a thing. Hit him with the and then you know you've got this virtual DJ siren. Shout out Gravedigger, he actually sent me this this siren. This is like so fucking corny, but it, it, it works. Listen to it. plays in the background you know it just plays in the background and, it, and it, it's 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 tuned up to the key of the track and it just plays and it just kind of gives you this hype feeling you know like oh shit there's a you know you don't know what that what that sound is but I'm feeling it you know so there's just a bunch of little things in here and little interludes that help bring the whole thing to life and that's the that that's the first drop of stank face that's that's all there is to the track really Hit him with the so it's the same thing as the other drop, except the, the other, the first drop stank section is in the key of D, and this one is on probably E. Let me see if I'm right. Yeah, it's an E. So, and then it goes down again, and then I give you the chops with the vocals. Turn my bass up. Turn, turn, turn my bass up. Turn my bass up. Turn, 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 turn my bass up. So it's just, it's extremely simple. So when you play that together with this. Turn my bass up. This track is simple as hell, man. I don't know how. I don't. I don't know any other kind of ways to to, to to tell you. So if we solo on the second drop here with the key of E drop, go like this. And that's all those sounds that you heard before. You got your screeches here, two R, two L. Everything just plays with each other. And then you've got this, when you play that with this. And these are just, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just, just, just putting sounds in here to mimic the screech that are, you know, somewhat... Not everything has to be in key to sound like it's in key, you know? Sometimes you just gotta play with stuff and put random things together and it just turns into something. So, this is what you get. Hit him with the and to give this some kind of swing, you see that nothing starts Nothing starts on the one. Everything has has a handmade swing to it. I took, I wrote, I wrote everything on the one, and once I wrote it on the one, I selected it all and I nudged it over some, so everything has some swing. Also, with our hi hat, the hi hat should have some swing too. See that? The hi hat has swing also. You see, so it just gives you this kind of swagger feeling. You, it's very subtle, but it's a big difference. Hit him with the and how, how I modulated this sound here, this is what it sounds like. Oh, oh this one's got dis disharmonics on it. Okay. So if you take. Without disharmonics, it sounds like this. With disharmonics, just kind of. Kind of, kind of just faded it out a little bit and kind of give it a little robo sound. But I use sharing, which is a, 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 a little audio unit in Ableton and I use this to modulate all sorts of things. You can use this to modulate your screech. If you saw the Shinigami video, 
same stuff and it's just you know your amount which is I call your swing knob your rate you can you know, change the phase and the shape and your different you know wa wave tables here wave tables yeah wave tables let's go with that let's play this together with this <laughs> So it just sounds like complete utter nonsense, but when you put it all together, you can't say shit. Hit him with the you know, I used a, a shit ton of samples and uh, some Keystone serum patches that I tweaked, and 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 that was pretty much it. And then our screeches here, you know, and that stank face. There you go. I didn't come here for that soft serve shit. Hit me with it. Yeah. Hey,